Hello and welcome to August 10th Alphas KR 141%. And before we go on, Stochastics also came coming out a little bit out of the negative at a minus 0.5 versus the SPY 18.9. Let's go look at that 18.9. There it is. 18.95 for the SPY. And um, some people say, you know, if, we, if, if you can't beat the SPY, then why bother to trade? Well, the thing is, there are some traders out there who are beating the SPY. We just, we, here at this channel is we're testing strategies to see if which strategy that is much easier to understand and comprehend to beat the SPY. That's where it comes down. Some of the trading platforms out there uh, that do beat the SPY are a little bit on the complicated side, especially when it comes to options because they're using, they're doing debit spreads and credit spreads and for some people who understand that and get into it well, but uh, some kind of grasp it. And then you also have to pick the right instrument to make it happen, to make big money. That's where also it comes into. So um, that's why I'm keeping it simple here for you guys to understand and to learn. So SPY 18.55, let's go on to the main event. And that is KR. Here is KR and we are 141. Now, I, I zoomed out a little bit because I wanted to show you. I drew this Elliott wave a while back. You can go back and look at some of my video. I think I drew it somewhere. I drew it somewhere in this zone here. I drew it somewhere in here. So um, it's marching in the right direction. And that's what's important. Uh, we do have our uh, here. These are the these were the July. That's the July El Elvis ship. I have not. This has not been updated to the August, and it's not really going to be that important because we're going to be sticking here with. Our August ones already been have established in other presentations. So that's it. What's the plan? Well, the plan is we're still looking at a very possibility. We're in a dollar something away, a dollar 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 steam away from him in 10x on the trade. We are at four hundred. We are at six hundred dollars uh, here at the top of the this top of the body of the green against an ode of twenty one thirty. Now an interesting point came up in one of the market wizard books that I'm listening to, which is Hedge Fund Manager by Jack Wagner. And in that, uh, there's one of the traders, I forgot whose name was, uh, I'm already halfway through the book. And he went on to about not doing, doing what I'm doing, which is chasing your lost leaders. Now, why am I chasing the lost leaders? I'm chasing the lost leaders because one, I have to build my self-esteem that I am a good trader. That's number one. It's vanity. I told you that before. I told you, I said that you told that many videos be, before. It's vanity. The other is proving that if the system can overcome the lost leaders, then the system can make big money in the open market. That's what we're doing, the forward testing, showing it there. And also, this is an open market trade, T-L-R-Y. And you see it's at minus 36. But we're going to talk more about that in a separate video. But the point comes the ultimate bottom line is that once you have yourself a nice set of scanners and then you attract their performance and it doesn't, if, even if it doesn't break the SPY, you do SPY, you do SPY for wealth, you put your big money here and then you trade your smaller money here to make some income. So you're making, to, 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 the thing is, and with trading, if you make 10, 15, 20% per month, what you can do, it can be done with the right strategy and the right discipline and the right risk management. That was another thing we would say was one of the chapters focused on a lot of risk management. And with that said, let's go on now to uh, PG because I want to touch upon risk management down here in a little bit. So uh, go on to PG. PG is running at 82. And there is PG. And there's the alpha shift rules over here for August, right there. There they are. OK. And again, we had to zoom out because this is such a long trade. It's still nice up climbing. We're now at 82 percent, five four hundred dollars against 27.16. Again, if you did, did not have any owed, this would be all pure profit. And if you had the money and you had not 10 contracts, but 20 contracts, that'd be add another zero, add another zero here, that'd be $6,000. If you had money for 10 contracts, that'd be 4,000. You had another zero here, this would be almost, this would be over 1,200. So you can see that uh, 
The account is restricted at the 5,000 because that's all we have left allocated for this account. But the bottom line would be is that when this, this builds back up into the bigger accounts, we will start seeing more growth here on the contracts and eventually also retire some losers to the winner circle. All right. Uh, that said, let's go on and let's go ahead and reset the. Um, no, let's go ahead and let's, let's go ahead and move to McDonald's first. Yes, McDonald's. All right, I'm going to zoom in on McDonald's, and here's what this is one of our puts. And again, this is where news the news contradicts the market. A lot of news about, oh, McDonald's is this, McDonald's that, but look, the price is dropping. So somebody's planning a story somewhere. Bottom line is that we are past our first ratio. We are in profit zone, and it's not going to be a lot of money against the 1431. But again, if this was a pure profit trade, it would be $122 in your favor. And uh, so we are past our first ratio. We are we are ever so much crunching on that second ratio. If we can get that close just below that, we can get that close below at 232.40. We can get a go move the exit to this second ratio. Also remember, this is a put, so there's no DTE in puts. It's uh, the scalping. Whatever the price crosses the ratio, put your stop at. Or you can go here and put the stop here at the high. Uh, Hip or high, there's a hip or high right there. You can wait for there, wait for another hip or high, and so forth down the line. Or you can go last bar high after you feel you're satisfied with the profit taking. Remember, profit taking off the table is a mantra, but you have to set the rules of when you're going to take the profit. And you got to be careful with the balance of taking the profit, not taking too little profit. When you get hit with big losses, you're going to get in the, eat, all losing all your profit. The idea would be is to take those small losses and hold on to winning bigger profit. Okay, that said, let's go R to RTX. RTX is a call. RTX is here. And now we're going to go ahead and restore our. And uh, it's climbing up nicely, but it still has not been able to get past that first ratio right there. And uh, this, this this trade is good till November. November, right there, November. And this is a DTE. This is also was a classic trend which meant that the price was going in, the 10-day EMA was going in the right direction of the stochastic at the time of this trade. Remember, there, we are doing what we are dealing with four stochastics, actually we're dealing with three stochastics, and that is the stochastic with no bias, stochastic with crossing the price crossing above the, t closing above the 10 EMA, and the, the third is stochastics with trend, which is the bias in the direction of the same direction as the stochastics of the scanner. Okay, that takes us now down to RCL. RCL joined us today for a little bit of profit, not much, 4%, but it hasn't cleared the gantry. Now, I'm going to bring a point out here, too. One of the traders in the uh, current book, and it's also been mentioned in other traders, that once they cross, once they have a significant profit like that, they move their stop up right to the entry point. Yep, they don't, don't, they don't, they don't wait for the body to completely clear the entry point. They will move their stop right there. And that might be a consideration for September's uh, uh, Elvis shift. We are coming up to September in approximately 21 days. And 21 days will be in September, and we can be discussing to see if we do do any more shifts. Another thing, too, that I failed to do, and I apologize for it, was that we were going to drop stochastics unbiased, stochastics with, uh, with just the uh, – indicators because that was proving to get into the trades too early and we were getting stops out and taking hits all right that said uh tlr was going to be covered in a separate issue uh yelp is the only one that has made some nice move here in the no, no stop zone for the dte and look at this we had that big long candle and then it retreated and now it's going up and look at the uptrend of the ema so, and this is good till November. This is a November. This is an ODTE, which means an ODTE, which means we are using the actual true um, exit rule, which means no stops all the way till November. But with that said, we're going to conclude today's report for the KR 141. And I thank you for stopping by and checking it out.